Tagging grenades are pyrotechnical devices for professional use only and may only be operated by holders of the PTOP license only. Chapter 1 Types of Tag In Hand Grenades and Their Application Tag 19 An airsoft hand grenade that is a replica of the Russian frag grenade RGD 5. It is produced in two versions, with plastic BBs and, in the Tag 19 U version, without BBs, but instead with a closed cell polymer substance to add weight. The grenade has a delay of 3.5 to 4.5 seconds. M67, an airsoft hand grenade outwardly copying the American M67 frag grenade. It has a response delay of 3.5 to 4.5 seconds and fragmentation in the form of plastic BBs. The AFG-6 is an airsoft hand grenade. The response delay of this device is 3.5 to 4.5 seconds, and it is filled with dried peas as the fragmentation element. The AFG-4 is an airsoft hand grenade. It has a response delay of 2 seconds and is filled with dried peas as the fragmentation element. FBG-4 is an airsoft hand grenade. This grenade is more miniature than the FBG-6 model. It has a response delay of 2 seconds and has no fragmentation. It is used as a mini stun grenade. The FBG-6 is an airsoft hand grenade. It is used as a flashbang grenade. It has a response delay of 2 seconds and has no fragmentation. The TAG-18 is an airsoft smoke grenade. It has a response delay of 3.5 to 4.5 seconds and contains 140 grams of a harmless smoke component. All hand grenades from TAG-IN are equipped with a safety lever. This means that while the lever is pressed against the body, the grenade will not go off. Let's review the device and the rules for handling a grenade using the M67 as an example. The grenade contains a body, a fuse, a safety pull pin, and a lever. Grab the grenade by the body with your strong hand. Press the safety lever with your fingers against the grenade body. Please note that the safety lever must be held with your fingertips and not pinched between the grenade and the palm. The grenade pin must face outward. Depending on the location of the safety pin on the fuse, the grenade can be held with the fuse up or down. Pull the ring out of the fuse with a quick motion. Take aim and toss the grenade at the target. Safety Rules Before throwing, make sure that the grenade's trajectory is clear of obstacles so that it will not bounce back towards you or your allies. It is strictly forbidden to try to cook a grenade, which means holding a triggered grenade with a detached safety lever in your hand. Do not dispose of the safety pin before tossing a grenade. In case you change your mind about throwing that grenade, a safety pin can be inserted back in. Do not try to throw a live grenade back with your hands, or try to dive on it to protect your buddies from getting hit. You can, however, kick the grenade with your foot or club it away with the barrel or butt of your weapon. It is forbidden to throw grenades into closed vehicles, those that have a roof. Do not carry grenades by hooking them by their rings. It is mandatory to read the instructions and legal documents. There is a separate test you will have to pass. Grenade tossing from different positions from a standing position. Prepare the grenade for throwing by holding the safety lever and pulling the safety pin. From a kneeling position. Use the same rules as for the standing position. Bend your active arm at the elbow, drawing it behind your head. Take aim at the enemy with your eyes. Throw the grenade vigorously at the target in an arc. From a prone position. If the target is at your flank, roll onto your back. Determine which hand you'll use to throw the grenade. If the target is to your left, then throw the grenade with your right hand. If the target is on the right, then do so with your left hand. Prepare the grenade for throwing by holding the safety lever and pulling the pin. Lying on your back, stretch your hand with a grenade in the direction opposite to your target. Slightly bending your leg, throw the grenade, raising your hand and simultaneously turning your side with the help of a bent leg, continuing to roll over face down. If the target is in front of you, prepare the grenade for throwing by holding the safety lever and pulling the pin. If you throw a grenade with your right hand, bend at the knee and take your right leg under your body. Lean on the ground with your left hand and right foot. 
slightly raising the arm and leg, launch the grenade with a dynamic movement at the target along an arc. Alternative method. If the protective shelter is high enough, tuck up both legs under you, standing on your knees, and bending at the waist as much as possible. Prepare the grenade for throwing by holding the safety lever and pulling the pin. Raise your head and aim at the target. Move your hand, holding the grenade, up behind your head. Straighten your body up quickly with a sharp movement while simultaneously throwing the grenade at the target. Continue with your movement. Use momentum to fall back to the ground behind the protective shelter. In terms of throwing grenades, it is worth considering the main feature of airsoft grenades. Due to their low weight, movement of the lever during the triggering process can change the grenade's flight trajectory. The use of grenades in urban areas. If you are going to throw a grenade into a window opening, first make sure that there is some cover between you and the window. In the event that your throw is terrible, having cover to hide behind is critical when it bounces back at you. Likewise, be prepared to quickly get behind cover if you are throwing a grenade from below. Before throwing a grenade into a window or doorway, make sure there are no obstacles blocking its path. For example, doors, glass, or camouflage netting.